Now you see this report here, uh, and uh, what I'm going to go now is uh, I'm going to uh, launch a Power BI report that is running against 10 million rows, just in the sweet spot of uh, your scope. And I'm just going to run this report here. And this is going to refresh the data. And it's refreshing. Uh, I have 600,000 rows uh, in here because I put some filters on this before loading, but the table itself gets 10 million. So probably I did maybe current month or I just forgot what it is. So I'm having 600. Uh, million rows, 600,000 rows, a chart, a few filters, and a table. So this table, it's a, it's a table of GL accounts, which uh, have that many accounts here. Now, let me just click on something like uh, a transaction type uh, to see the response time here. Uh, I would say about, you know, maybe five seconds or three to five item category, maybe which is going to filter me GL accounts here. Okay, but it's not really a fast. If, if I have 600,000 rows, it's not fast, it's, it's slow. I would say this is slow. 600, it's nothing, really it's nothing here. But, and it also says here, A, exhibit A, a slow report. Now, uh, let's, let's go for another report, which is absolutely the same. And let's see how this behaves. So it has 600,000. It's the same uh, data, same visuals, uh, everything. Let's just filter something. Oh, this is faster. And this is faster, definitely faster. And I, I would say this is, let's say, maybe two seconds or at least, let's say, two to three times faster, if you would agree. Because if I refresh, like I do here now, the call, a report, it will pick up what's new. If there'll be like 50 or 100,000 new records, it would pick it up. So how come that this fast report is so fast and this, uh, the other report is, uh, is not so fast? So let's see uh, the design of the report here. Uh, let's just open the design of the report. Uh, so we are going to close uh, this part here and i'm looking for the report when i have 10 million rows in transactions just give me a second to find it here so it's a several servers here uh, uh, that i'm doing a uh, demo on uh, so we are going to open a power bi report first we are going to open a power bi report and then we are going to see why this is so so here you can learn uh, how to do the troubleshooting if something is not uh, refreshing as fast as possible. So if you have like few million rows of data that you are refreshing, then you are expecting, I would say, few seconds of a refresh time. Maybe even five, 10 is fine, but uh, not, not minutes here. So this is a design of the report. And this report here is a slow. And if I just click here on the this part here, it is fast. So let me just you know see here. Yeah, this is fast, and the other is slow. So what we are going to do, as you may know, this is not something difficult. Is we are going into the viewing part and include the performance analyzer, start the recording, and see what's going on here. And when I'm running here, a uh, refresh of the visuals, I see which visual takes how much uh, time. This is all in milliseconds. And uh, some of the reports, uh, visuals are already refreshed. And this table, okay, this table is taking the most of the time. It's like 10, 10 seconds. But others are close, 8, 10 seconds in here. If I go in here, uh, the, the same one, I'm just cleaning the things here, refresh the visual at its maximum one second. So I have one, or in this case, 10 seconds here, clear. So how am I going to find the reason for this? Okay, I know, of course, because I set up everything, but let's say you are in my shoes, uh, you know, fighting 
optimizing, not knowing what's going on here. So definitely what we should do is take the longest performance query. Okay, now it's 14, 14 seconds. So in this C, you have a query. Uh, it's explaining what it is doing. And I can uh, copy a query here. So if I copy a query and uh, paste the query here, let's just uh, create a new query. So I'm uh, running this again, GL transaction, which is this database here. Okay, and I'm running a query. If I run F5, I'll hit an error. Why? Because simply uh, the query that it is there, it's, it has two parts, DAX query, which is uh, what I want. So this table, it's requiring GL account name and total of the numbers. Uh, DAX is quite simple. I have some year filter here uh, and something mean max and top, as many it go to the part, but this is not the part. Usually, you know, I would say 99% of the troubleshooting would be in the SQL, maybe 1% if you don't write a more complex uh, query, but I don't think you would, but yes. And let's see here. Now, what we have here, it's a, uh, it's a resulting in a table uh, that is uh, here. And it should be a simple select statement uh, if you would write this manually. But actually the query is not uh, anything similar like this because it's uh, generated automatically. This query, it's also done or developed by level. So you see level one, level two, level three. So we have nested uh, loops or queries and, uh, you know, and some joins here uh, with the GL account because GL account is uh, nested, uh, connected to that part here. So all in all, uh, it takes quite some time. Actually, let's just see how much time it will take. So let's just put all the queries and everything away and run this again. We will see how much time it takes this query to run because we believe it's uh, a way too much time here. It's way too much time. I will also tell you uh, what is the reason for this, okay? Uh, it takes 11 seconds and uh, it's, it's reading 300,008 uh, kilobyte pages and 130 kilobyte page is about one GB. So we are here, uh, you know, almost three GB uh, so of data. It's reading the whole table and it's working also with the temp table. So you know, you would not write the script manually like this, but it's automatically generated. Now, if I compare uh, the, the, the same scripts which I already prepared here, let me just put uh, this part here. So this is a query uh, with uh, slow performing, and this is a query fast performing. And if I compare these queries, Okay, what uh, you would notice is that uh, there are some conditions on the top and this condition here is saying, okay, give me the data for last period or uh, last three months or something. This is something that you would use very often. But down here, any what you will notice, it's one line and this line saying yes, but all the data that I'm looking into is in the filter of 2018 and 19. Well, the question, is this really needed because I have a more precise filter of, uh, you know, in, in last few months. So definitely this is a more precise filter than this one. And the answer is definitely not. And should this hurt performance if I'm writing a query? Probably not. But if I run this here, let's go here and remove the part that is causing us error. So this is a filter on here and this N condition up to here. Okay, uh, run this again. 874, 887. So this is, you see, the reason why we have a stupid filter, additional filter in the, in the Power BI report is causing us a big headache of performing the query three times lower. Let's go back to another query. And I'll show you something here. Uh, and this is 
if I uh, command this script, which was initially doing 11, so this is now a web condition, uh, and this is going to be smoother than my previous part. So just remember 11 seconds, and this is going to be way down here. Okay, it's going to be, you know, 1.4 seconds. Can you imagine? And the reason for that, if we go back, uh, some guy, some very smart guy, put a security filter on this page that you want to have, uh, you know, these data also filtered by date. And that's the reason of slow performing query, like three times. Additional condition, something like this can happen. So be aware when you are, you know, experiencing uh, strange behavior and you want to do something better. 